Alright, so today we have another patron request because even though I literally just doubled the price of it, I had like 12 people all requested at the same time, so... Oh man, <laughs> it's gonna be a bit difficult to get through. But uh, this one is called One for the Road by Jeremy M. Moore, and while it's more of a novella than a real full-length book, it is, uh, it does a pretty good job at what it sets out to do. This is the introduction song. It's not very good, but it's not too long. Like I said, this is not a very long story. I got through it in about, uh, eh, two hours, actually a little bit less than two hours, I think, spread out over two days, and it feels like a short film in a lot of ways. Like, it's basically just focused on this one character in this one location, and it focuses on him going over a couple of relatively simple ideas and themes. In fact, they're, I'd go so far as to say they're very simple ideas and themes. Basically, this guy named Miguel has died. Like, he wakes up in the desert and he has no idea where he is or what's going on, and then he goes into this house nearby and they're just like, yeah, you're, you're dead, man. This is the afterlife. And he at first does not know how to deal with that because he's like, oh man, how's my, how's my wife gonna live without me? What, what's gonna happen next? And Pretty much the whole rest of the story is just him, uh, one, exploring the afterlife and seeing what it's like, and two, figuring out how he can move on, how he can decide, okay, you know what, I miss being alive, but this is just what happens, and this is where I'm at now, so let's see how I can enjoy that. The character of Miguel is, you know, pretty simple, because while I do feel for him, and I do sympathize with his uh, wanting to come back to life, and I do understand why he'd be a bit freaked out to be in the situation, I... it never comes across all that strongly. He's more of a, a vessel through which these ideas are explored, and by ideas and themes I mean like, okay, this is what the afterlife might be like, but also like, this is how you can move on not only from dying and understanding that your old life is over, but also just from pretty much any tragedy or anything that uh, forces you to change your lifestyle. Like, I think it, from that perspective, it is kind of interesting, but you would really need, like, an entire full-length book to go into a lot of detail about that. And, like I said, this is novella. This is short length, but honestly, it probably should have been shorter. Because what I noticed from literally the first page is that there is a lot of description, like a lot, 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 lot of description given about everything. And while that's not inherently bad on its own, the fact that everything in the book is described that way is not great. That's, uh, in fact, it's bad. Because you see, one, you always want to trim fat and stuff like this. You don't want to go on and on about stuff that isn't important, and, because that'll bore your audience and more and more people will leave over time. And... So usually when you're writing, at least in novels at least, uh, the more detail you give something, you're telling your audience, okay, this is important, let's focus on this, and if you just breeze over something and it's not that important, then, well, yeah, they, they know it's not that important. Like, for example, if someone says, I walked outside, I saw a man, I said, excuse me, which way is blank? The man said, oh, it's over that way, I went that way. Like, you can do that because it really doesn't matter what the man looked like, or how he said what he said, or even specific directions to the place you're trying to go. None of that is important, so you don't need to focus on it. Whereas, if the man, uh, I don't know, if he got somehow swept up in the adventure with the main character, then it would probably do to give some description on what he looks like, give some description on how he acts, make him act a little bit unusual, maybe. And this book, one for the Road really doesn't do that. Like, everyone feels equally important, even though, from a storytelling standpoint, they're really not. And by putting so much emphasis on everything, nothing is really that important. And really, there's only a few bits that you needed to focus on that much in here. And, well, like I said at the beginning, this feels kind of like a short film. And it should have felt more like a short film, because that's exactly what, uh, or at least I think that's what it was going for. And by just breezing over some of that stuff, it 
it would have helped it go by faster and it would have allowed me to focus more on the dreamlike quality of the afterlife and focus more on like Miguel individually as opposed to his surroundings. So overall, while I am not really the biggest fan of the this type of, I don't know if genre is really the word for it, but it's clearly trying to be a little more dreamlike and trippy and unusual than most of the stuff I read. And yeah, I wouldn't normally go out and grab this. I wouldn't say, oh, that sounds interesting. But that said, I think it succeeds very well at what it's trying to do. You know, what it's trying to do doesn't appeal all that much to me personally, but it succeeds extremely well. So if you are someone who's looking for something shorter, something a little cozier, which has some neat ideas and themes in there, but really nothing that you have to think that hard about, then I, I guess check this one out. You know, if, if it's a waste of your time, at least it's not a giant waste of your time. A special thanks to everyone who watched this far, and an even specialer thanks to all of my patrons, including the $10 and up guys, Apo Savalainen, Olivia Rayan, Ava Toomer, Brandon S. Pilcher, Brother Santodes, Christopher Quinten, Embis, Pfizer, Jeremy, Joel, Karkat Kitsune, Kevin Zhang, Liza Rudakova, Madison Lewis Bennett, Mel Austin, Microphone, Sad Mardigan, Tobacco Crow, Tom Beanie, and Ve Victus. Man, that, that list is getting long. But I could not do this without you guys. You are seriously the best. And thanks again for watching. If you want to get your name on here, then consider donating to my page. We also get, have other perks that you can have access to. And if you don't want to do that, then simply rating the video, commenting on it, subscribe to my channel. All that stuff I'm supposed to say at the end here, that is a huge help. Anyways, uh, bye.